party unicorn. Today we're gonna make this cute pom pom love bug together. You should have two pieces of the pom pom maker. Make sure that you put them together like this. Hold it in place with one hand and take the end of a yarn and start twisting it around this C shape pom pom maker. It's gonna take you a while to wrap all the way around, but that's okay. Make sure that you wrap it nice and tight and go all the way around and not just once but keep going it around and around and make sure it's nice and puffy like this. Next you pick up a pair of scissors and for younger child you probably need your parents to give you a hand with this. It might be hard at first but if you push a little harder it will get easier I promise. And a little tip is to actually point the tip of your scissors up into the sky. And you don't have to cut all the yarn at the same time. You can cut a couple at a time and just move slowly across the whole pom pom maker. Try your best not to let the cut yarn get loose, but if a couple falls out, it's okay. Take your time, don't rush, and if it feels hard, it's okay because all it means is that your pom-pom is extra fluffy. Next, you'll need a long piece of thread. So take the end of the yarn and cut a piece out. It has to be long enough to go around the pom-pom. Now make sure your loose yarn goes right in between the two pieces of the pom pom maker. Look carefully. You can use your finger to try to open up the two pieces carefully and just slide it in. Once you get it in, all you need to do is wrap it around once and tie a super tight knot. I like to do a couple of knots, sometimes three or four, just to make sure that it is nice and tight. When you tie the knot, you have to make sure that the knot actually goes in between the pom-pom maker and not just sits on top. And at this time, you might notice that you didn't completely cut all the yarn all the way through, but that's okay. You can just take your scissors and just clean it up. The hard part is now done, I promise. So next, all you have to do is slowly take the pom-pom maker out. I like to slide one out first and then the other. You can even push the yarn in the middle um, through the hole to help you remove it. Once you got both pieces of the pom-pom maker out, it's time to put it in the palm of your hands, give it a little warm rub and fluff it up. Next, get your scissors out again, and it's time to give your pom-pom a haircut. Be careful of those little fingers. You just go all the way around and trim off any pieces that are long. It's a good time to clean up your desk a little bit. Make sure that you put those extra fluff in the garbage can. Next, you take the biggest heart-shaped sticker included in the kit and you put some glue in the tip of the heart because we're going to use that to make them into legs for your pom-pom. Hold down your pom-pom for at least 10 seconds to make sure that the legs are going to stick properly. Next, you grab the two pre-cut pipe cleaners and two small heart stickers. You peel the sticker behind the small hearts and you just stick the pipe cleaners right on. and they should look like this. Find where you want to stick them in and put some glue on the tip. These ones actually stick inside the pom-pom really easily. You can see here that 
I didn't trim off the long yarn at the end because I wanted to make it a hanging pom-pom. But it's up to you if you want to keep it on or not. Last step, take out the googly eyes. I like to push down the yarn in the front of the face a little bit so the surface is a little bit more flat for you to glue your googly eye on. Again, hold it down to make sure that it sticks properly. Some glues work better than others and for this project, I think some liquid white glue will definitely work better than glue sticks. Congratulations, you made your first love bug! Happy Valentine's Day! Now you can use your pom pom maker and go ahead and make a few more. You can make a family of love bugs. Well, I hope you had fun. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY ideas. See you next time!